we're mounting a career fair as we do two or three times a year in different parts of Canada to bring together young Aboriginal youth and other youth in Yukon to talk about the career opportunities that are available for young people. We, this time around, have more than 350 young people, most of them coming from outlying areas, who are going to, for a day, be motivated, entertained, inspired, workshopped, and exposed to opportunity. Empowered to think about the choices that are there to make and to begin to chart their future. I think achieving full potential is something that is so important. And I think in this part of the territory of Canada, nowhere is it more important that everyone have a role in the plan than it is today. What's required, as you well know, certainly in the North, is a plan for collaboration, teamwork, cooperation to build together. We know that the old paradigm of competition and exclusiveness just isn't going to work here. And so many of you are in school now, realizing your own individual promise, your own potential that will help the Yukon develop and reinforce its role as a vital part of Canada's future. I hope we're going to find ways this week when we're here of working together with people in the Yukon from the Foundation so that we can contribute to your continued success. You know, so often people think about the Yukon as a place of, of the North, a place of rich natural resources. We think of minerals and forests, of beautiful places that attract tourists. But I would encourage you to think of yourselves as the Yukon's greatest natural resource. And I'm speaking to the young people. You have the greatest potential. You are the riches of the Yukon. But like any other resource, you need wise stewardship and astute development. In my mind, the future of the Yukon depends upon the people. That means that each one of you and each one of the young people in the Yukon who wants training gets training. Everyone who wants an education gets an education. Everyone who wants a job gets a job. And realizing that these goals are important in order to develop and share a rich vision of a Yukon where self-reliant individuals and families share the rewards and responsibilities of healthy communities in a prosperous territory. That's not a vision for the short haul. That's a vision for the long haul. But there's some challenges to meet before we can get there. And I'll name four of them. Factors, really, that I invite students, teachers, and administrators to work on together to meet the challenges. We know there is an econ socioeconomic gap that's being experienced. It is a reality. But let me just talk about four factors to be addressed. It should come as no surprise that where attention is paid to career planning, students tend to plan careers. Surprise. Where there is awareness of post-secondary options, students tend to explore them and seek them. Where there is a commitment to locating, developing, and ensuring there are financial support measures, more students do act on these opportunities. Finally, where there is a high appreciation of both the costs and benefits of post-secondary education and training, students tend to make more informed decisions. 
I know that much work has been done here at the college and in the various locations the college has throughout the communities. I think there is more to be done. And I'm suggesting today that the community of students, scholars, and, academic, and educators that I see here accept the challenge of continuing to work on these four factors. I am sure you will find support for that initiative from the territorial government, from the Council of Yukon First Nations, the federal government, from industry and educational institutions. And certainly, the foundation I'm a part of wants to contribute. What I'm suggesting is something that, of course, you can do for yourselves rather than asking someone to do it for you. Getting more Yukon children, and especially First Nations and Métis children, to graduate from high school and creating access to university and training is well within your grasp. Right? However, if it's seen as somebody else's problem, there will be a struggle and the economy will suffer if one fails to deal with the realities. So that's important.